night, guys. What a difference a day makes. We uh, went from the most gorgeous day of 2023 yesterday to quite possibly the single ugliest day <coughs> you know, on this miserable Monday morning here in the collapse of everything. I think it's around August 28th right now. Feels more like October. Uh, I am stuck up here at the Blue Dragon. <coughs> Tiny house biding my time and uh, going through the mainstream media and uh, You know, I, I have to say I have found some of the most intelligent commentary in this article today, but of course it's not in the article. It's from the comments from readers to the article. So this is really, uh, <clears throat> we're going to celebrate people starting to get it about the problem on this planet. I see example after example after example of this in the comments section to the paper, readers trying to explain to the morons in the mainstream media what the problem on this planet is. And in this <coughs> case, we're going over to that, uh, to that right wing rag called the Telegraph coming out of uh, England. The Telegraph is kind of like England's version of Fox News. So anyway, uh, I'm only going to read a couple of paragraphs out of this article. And then, because uh, it's really the comments <clears throat> I want to talk about. So the title of this article here on Yahoo News from the Telegraph is Why Sterilizing Humans Might Be the Way to Save Africa's Wildlife. That was a joke, guys. The real title is Why Killing Humans Might Be the Way to Save Africa's Wildlife. Okay, I just can't help myself. All right, <clears throat> the real article, uh, this ties in with Michael Campy's uh, latest essay on Medium.com, Why Killing Elephants might be the way to save Africa's wildlife. <clears throat> Why killing animals might be the way <coughs> to save animals. And I'm just going to read a two, two paragraphs out of here. I will put the link on here so you can read the rest of this and uh, the comments. So. Solutions, yes, solutions to the complex matter of Africa's wild species survival are constantly being analyzed and debated by scientists and environmentalists, but nobody other than about a hundred people in the comment section of this article has come up with definitive answers to the problem of animals and people competing for the same habitat. And as Africa's human population continues to explode, about 1.4 billion today predicted to reach almost two and a half billion 
by 2050 and around 4 billion humans by the end of this century. <clears throat> These environmentalists continue to argue among themselves about the best way forward. What they agree on is that the greatest threats to biodiversity are illegal poaching by humans, mainly orchestrated by international criminal syndicates of humans, <clears throat> habitat loss by turning wild lands into agricultural space for and by humans, and wildlife-human conflict as a result of shrinking rangelands, meaning where the animals live, shrinking rangelands caused by humans and, of course, the ever-growing rural populations of humans. In this complicated eco-environment, it is also broadly agreed that wild animals have to pay their way, as it were, if they are to survive to bring in benefits to the humans who share meaning, who have invaded and stolen the lands they share with them. And before I get into the comments, guys, I, I do want to briefly, you know, what this article is talking about it is the same debate I was uh, reading about. I remember 50 years ago, 50 years ago, reading about this very same debate in National, or was it International Wildlife Magazine, uh, talking, you know, about these trophy hunters. Uh, so, you know, charging these little cowardly, spineless, clueless, moron, sadist killers, these, these rich, privileged, usually rich, privileged white people, but not always, a, a boatload of money to go over there and murder uh, all of their fellow earthlings, you know, to fly over and usually talking about Africa, not always, the vast majority of us talking about Africa, uh, a, a, a bunch of rich honkies from Texas or wherever, uh, going over there to Africa, paying a boatload of money to murder these animals to hang their heads on the wall and then using that money generated by the rich honkies, at least the little bit of money that is not taken by all of the corruption. Uh, and you know what I'm talking exactly, know exactly what I'm talking about, is assuming any money does not get disappeared uh, over there using that money to whatever to uh, pay for conservation efforts to protect the animals from being uh, a lot more animals being killed by the residents, the human residents of all of those shithole countries over there in Africa. And this debate uh, has been raging for 50 years. Uh, it will never stop raging 
And, and I fully admit, guys, I am on the fence about this. Both sides of this debate uh, that's been raging for 50 years and will be raging right up until the very last elephant, lion, rhino, giraffe, whatever, is gunned down either by a rich honky or more likely by some poor uh, African just trying to feed his family and thrown into the stew pot. This debate will go right on raging. I'm not going to wade into this debate. I am simply going to cheer on uh, the, the readers of this, since you damn well better believe you're, you're not going to see any of these comments anywhere in this article. You are not going to see these comments in any mainstream media publication on this planet from these right-wing rags uh, uh, like the Telegraph to these left-wing rags, I don't know, like HuffPost. Uh, there, there, there is, is no more way that HuffPost uh, would make these comments that I'm getting ready to share uh, part of the actual article. And I have to admit, guys, I am absolutely shocked, pleasantly shocked, that the Yahoo News community uh, is keeping these comments up and running. The, the vast majority of comments I leave to Yahoo News mainstream media stories are immediately deleted by the Yahoo community. But uh, my own comment is the headline, my, my comment being, uh, when will we see the headline about sterilizing humans to save the animals? Uh, had no problem with that. And, uh, I was utterly shocked, and then I dove in, so there are 299 comments, I don't know, we're just going to go through, maybe read a dozen or, or so, a couple of dozen comments right here in the mainstream media. The issue seems to be too many people, not too many elephants. Hmm, if we can feed another two billion people, then we can find a way to feed, protect these elephants. 250,000 elephants when we have eight billion people doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, here is, wow, that was an extremely long article for me to say the issue isn't with the elephants. It is the humans breeding uncontrollably, spreading further and further out, taking territory that belongs to not only elephants, but all of Africa's creatures. Kill the humans. 83 thumbs up, 7 thumbs down, we're going to make that 84 thumbs up. Kill the humans. Hmm, okay, this is going to start getting a little bit uh, redundant. Um, it does not at all seem justifiable 
to simply allow trophy hunters to kill elephants in areas where elephants are considered to be overpopulated. Centuries ago, there were millions of elephants in Africa. They managed to live and survive. Humans have overpopulated the environment and hunted the elephants and many other iconic animals. There has to be a more ethical solution. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> the problem is not 275,000 elephants. The problem is 8 billion people, many of whom burn through resources faster than 1,000 elephants. Ironically, if we don't manage our population, the biosphere will collapse and we will go extinct. <clears throat> D no, there are not too many elephants. There are way too many people. Uh, no, it's not the elephant's fault that overpopulation of people has led to the destruction of forests and ecosystems. It is people, not the elephants, who are at fault. Don't punish the innocent. How about some birth control for these third world countries? There is no need to have so many children, especially when the parents and the world cannot save them. Here is the arrogance of human beings. To save animals, we have to kill animals. Humans need to stop destroying ecosystems. Humans need to stop destroying habitats. Humans need to take responsibility for the destruction of our natural environment and the animals on it. D, D. Uh, let's see. Nature has its own way of thinning the herds. The one that really needs thinning is humans, and nature will take care of that. <clears throat> what? Killing elephants might be the way to save Africa's wildlife? What? For thousands of millennia, the animals of Africa roamed the savanna, but now because mankind's population has exploded, the animals need to go. We, as a species, have lost our minds. If we cannot even steward ourselves, how can we be expected to steward other people? Yeah, blame the animals. The problem is too many people. Overpopulation of the entire planet. They, meaning humans, are the ones tearing up the landscape, eating and breeding like rabbits. Hmm, let's see. Uh, anyway, I think we're getting 
uh, a, a little bit of a meme going here. Uh, Okay, this is from a fellow named Sam. Global human population has quadrupled in the last hundred years. Human lifestyles are becoming increasingly demanding of the limited resources of planet Earth. This has taken enormous tolls on our environment and all the other living beings we are supposed to share this planet with. However, we are the most dominant species on the planet and have artificially established ourselves at the top of the, hu of the food chain. Human hubris makes us believe that every inch of the planet belongs to our species and we can do no wrong as long as bloodthirsty trophy hunters vicious desires are fulfilled by mass killings of animals humans will find some lame excuse to rationalize their own selfishness arrogance and cruelty about we can do without the humans, not the elephants. And then uh, here's this long comment, corruption between trophy hunting business and local state authorities is huge. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Again, we are... <clears throat> okay. This article is way too long. But the bottom line is people, not elephants, are the problem. Widespread mandatory use of contraception and limits on the number of children are the answer. Millions of Africans, mostly children, die every month already due to no food and no water. Allowing the human population to continue to increase is a death sentence for all human and animal life in Africa. <coughs> Better to remove the humans and let the wildlife and environment take care of itself. It always has without humans to mess things up. Four billion humans by the end of the century? Sounds like a die-off is needed. D of years ago there was a natural balance. Survival of the fittest was a natural mechanism to maintain natural balance. Not too many of this or that. It was not until mankind joined the group and began to select, manipulate, and control life to suit man, the determining factor as it is today, has been greed. <clears throat> uh, D, D. The 
Telegraph is one of the major providers of misinformation on the internet, so read at your own risk. <clears throat> I would like to have a license to hunt the trophy hunters and display their heads on my wall. Here is birth control and free tube tying sound like a better solution. Here, sad but true, it's called calling the herd. My only question is why don't they do that to the obvious greedy and criminal dictators of the world instead of doing business with them, more animals, less humans. Here is control the human population. Have your human spayed or neutered. Uh. to get to animals survived just fine until man came along and decided how many should be alive. blight on the planet, but let's blame the elephants. Maybe test the nest lab created virus. Uh, we're trying to save animals while we pro procreate like a virus across the planet taking up the space these animals would need to survive. <clears throat> we need to make up our minds. Either we conserve the biodiversity of our planet and work to contain our own species reproduction or else we let the animals die to make room for humans to live. You cannot have both, as is clearly evident, throughout the planet. Here is, none of this was a problem until humans came along. Here is, more land for humans, less for all others. Stop sending these people in Africa food. Too many people is the problem in Africa, not the wildlife. Send these people contraceptives. Here is the, pro the biggest problem facing the world is too many humans. Okay, I am still waiting to get to the comment that wasn't nearly buried as deep uh, when I first read this comment, but let me uh, just uh, jump ahead and, well, you've probably already read it on the, uh, on the title of this. Come on, where is the comment? 
Uh, anyway, since I cannot find the comment anywhere anymore, uh, it has disappeared. Here we go. Thank you. The way to save the earth is to kill all the people. <laughs> the way to save the earth is to kill all the people. Anyway, it is refreshing to know that uh, at least some of the people who haven't been killed yet realize there is, well, there's two ways to uh, save the earth, of course, and that is to kill all the people, or the one I am still recommending for some reason, sterilize the human race to save the earth. You have been more sterilized than I have been. This is my little sterilized dog sitting in his sterilized human's lap. Anyway, it sounds like the rain has slacked off, so maybe I can actually make an escape and go uh, throw one of my fellow Earthlings on my fossil fuel powered grill while I still can. Do you want to go have one of your barbecued fellow Earthlings while you still can? Bye guys!